Every year, 4,000 patients are added to the organ transplant list. Every day, 18 people will die waiting to get to the top of that list or to find any match. Those statistics have people talking. Should we legalize organ sales? I think it should probably stay with the medical community. They have the right to do what they want, I guess, with their body, but it's very dangerous. People are dying every single day. I don't see what's wrong with paying cash for organs. I think organs should just stay in the hospital. We don't even know what they're selling us. It could be a pig organ, for all you know. I, I think it should remain in the medical community. You can't buy kidneys over internet. That kind of disturbs me, people buying organs. Wait a minute. Let's say business. we can get 50 grand for her spleen. No way. <laughs> so should you be able to sell organs? Yes, uh, this, I mean, the story of that young girl is devastating to me. If I was dying and I had a family and I had the money to spend and someone needed it, why, why not? Because then yeah. it means someone who can't afford it doesn't get an organ and dies. And you have this black market for organs mm -hmm. where literally you're going to have be, people trafficking was, organs yeah, across country lines. But if it was but, there's but if already a black market. If it was yeah. legalized, then it becomes an open regulated. market, regulated. And whoever's market, you know, richest it, gets organs and whoever's poor doesn't. Yeah, but yeah. here's the thing. you know, well, If I needed you, a kidney or one of my kids needed a kidney and, there, and we couldn't find a donor because not a lot of people sign up for to, to just donate their organs, if I could start offering money to find a kidney to save my child's life, of course yeah, I would. I'd would sell my do. house. I'd sell my house. I'd do whatever I do. Somebody who's poor. People are going to go to other countries and they're going to take well, advantage of poor you know people what? and but, there's going to be people who are going to be kidnapped. Poor. For their organs and things like that. But That's maybe not if it's an open now. market. You know, somebody oh, that lives they? in a third world country, what what is ten thousand dollars to them? That's they could live for years on that. They could, you know. But what if they end up dying? And let's yeah. clarify here: you can donate a kidney to anyone you want. Yeah. So oh, yeah. you can live with one kidney just fine. What I'm, I'm described as a scenario: if you need a kidney, and your spouse, your relative, your friend is a match, they can give you their kidney. Mm -hmm. What we're saying here is let's not create, again, my opinion is let's not create a, uh, a market where the richest people are driving up the yeah. cost for organs mm -hmm. so that you have no hope unless you have a million dollars in the bank of getting a kidney. Right now, when you go into the hospital and a loved one has a terminal condition and maybe they're brain dead and we go and ask them, do you want to be an organ donor? Let me ask you, if they knew that those organs were going to be going for $500,000, do you think that that would change their mind? Are you trying to kill my dad to get his organs? Let's kill someone yeah. and use their that organs and sell them. Sure. Yeah.